Nor is it always true that increasing reef up will decrease tower top temperature. Unfortunately, no. Unfortunately, while it is our intent to reduce tower top temperature by adding more reflux to cool down the top of the tower, at some point you will cause the top tray to start to flood. After all, where does the reflux come from? Well, it comes from the reboiler. Therefore, as you increase the reflux rate, in order to keep the liquid level from diminishing in the reflux drum, one must increase the reboiler duty, which then increases the vapor flow to the tray, which increases the vapor pressure drop flowing to the top tray, which will then promote higher levels of entrainment. And as you have more and more entrainment and degrade tray efficiency due to jet flood, as the operator increases the reflux rate with the reboiler in automatic control, at some point, the overhead product, instead of becoming lighter, is going to become heavier. It's going to become contaminated with the bottom's product. And then the temperature of the vapor leaving the top tray will start to go up for just a little by a little bit. However, since we are in automatic temperature control, and since the design is intent to control the tower top temperature by more reflux, as the tower temperature goes up because of flooding, because of entrainment, this valve will open further, which will then make the problem worse. And the problem is you're getting caught up in a positive feedback loop. Therefore, once you go past what I call the incipient flood point, once you go past the point where an increase in reflux rate raises the tower top temperature rather than reduce it, the problem will get worse and worse. It will spin out of control. And the only way back is to take the temperature control valve, the reflux valve, and put it on to manual, close it off, back off from the steam to the reboiler, and get back to a normal operating condition where the tower top temperature will diminish as you raise the top reflux rate.